No threes, no threes, no threes, no threes, no threes, no threes, no threes. No threes. Yes, bro, bro. And as you can see, bro, I got this. I got this Dejounte Murray's challenge done all twenty million times um quicker than the was a Manu ball twenty times. I heard people say this is probably the hardest one, which is I think that's asinine, bro. This is probably I think this was very easy. You just have to know how to do it, bro. And so, yeah, I'm gonna show you. I, I'm not gonna sit here acting like I didn't have to restart it a couple times, but like it took after a couple times, like, oh, wait, this is all I gotta do is pretty easy. Like, it really is that easy. <laughs> but yeah, man, and lineup wise, bro, it doesn't really matter. I would use your best lineup. I know contacts right now are just mad expensive. I don't know why. Actually, I do know why. I'm pretty sure it's because of these challenges. A lot of people are burning contacts because of this. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's because of these. Is it actually why it's expensive? But, otherwise, you want to use your best lineup. And I would have, like, a couple ball handlers who can shoot threes. Just because we're going to make threes and they're going to make twos. The method that I'm going to show you. And also, yeah, having big centers is always important. I'm actually going to do this real quick. Just to flex on them a little bit. That's what I'm going to do a little bit, too. You know what I'm saying? Um... But yeah, I would have big centers because that always helps, like, um, length and having big people always going to help, especially against three-point shooters. But it's not really going to matter at the end of the day with the method I show you, but bigger centers are better. Alright, so the most important thing is obviously you have to do your defensive settings, bro. And I'm not going to explain why you do these settings. It's just, if you want to stop the CPU from scoring, these are the settings. So I'll let me go over slowly. Um, smother, obviously, you don't want to shoot threes tight. You don't want, you want them to be close to them. Go over, go over, soft edge, soft edge, stay attached, yes. And the most important is these two. Um, screen help rules, no. Drive help rules, no. Because you do not want to, your um, CPU to help and give them open threes. And then also make sure coach setting that the coach engine is off so you don't, they don't change any rah-rah. And then coaching sliders, this is the, this is the, this is the most important one. You want to put that help defense at zero. Because obviously you do not want there to be open three-point shooters. And literally what you want to do every time, bro, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it, is you want them to make twos, and then you go ahead and just make three. And they're going to miss anyway sometimes, but you just basically want them to make twos. And I'm going to show you exactly the way to do that. <coughs> On the office, what I'm going to show you is, bro, literally, I'll try to burn some clock, right? When it hits around a 10 minute, a 10 second mark, literally, I go up to Steph Curry, switch back. Step back and then hit threes the whole entire time. That's what I do. You can do whatever you want offense. But now defense, this is the important part. You want to use the center, right? And then Draymond, bro, go. Let Draymond get into lane every time. And sometimes you can block if you want him in the back. It does not matter. But yeah, he's going to drive to the lane every time and just go for two. And 90% of the time, they're going to pass it to him. So I'll just go quick on offense. Usually on offense, I will wait till the 10 second mark. And then, yeah, literally. Just leave him wide open, bro. Let him get into the lane. Stay behind him. Stay behind him. Pfft. Sometimes I'll block it too, bro. Sometimes I'll block it. We're getting threes anyway. They're basically making twos. And that's going to work most of the time, bro. That will work most of the time. That will work most of the time. You just hit threes. Step back at threes. Literally, bro. You'll see Draymond. He just drives to the lane. The thing, the only difference is, the only thing you're going to have to worry about later is, oh, sometimes, yeah. And sometimes, yeah, well, you want to go up to step two and, like, put pressure on him and, you're going to do that more so when the bench comes in. I'm going to show you what happens when the bench comes in. Oh, another thing to keep in mind is if you ever miss a shot and they're in any type of transition um, opportunity, you want to hold the select button on Xbox or whatever, whatever the follow button on your system is, and just follow them. Like, if they're in transition uh, for whatever reason, so that's why you want to minimize missing shots. Whatever they're in transition or anything, just literally just follow them. Just don't even take the chance. Just follow them every goddamn time. The same goes like if you see there's a um, they're setting screens or something and getting set for like a uh, a three point shot or something, hold the select button and foul their ass, bro. And even at the end of the game, bro, like just think, uh, when I completed this, I made sure at the end that I just fouled the last few possessions just so there's no chance we're gonna get anything. And so right now you foul, right now you foul, or yeah, like, we got lucky there, but you want to foul right motherfucking there, bro. Or yeah, you just want to be behind Draymond a little bit and like kind of like push him towards the basket almost, and then ah, you can do that too. You know what I'm saying? So now that things change a little bit when the bench comes in. Now that there's a Zeli, and right, if you try to do the same thing with Zeli, sometimes he just doesn't cut to the basket. He just really kind of does it. And so something you want kind of want to do with that is like you really just want to attack the ball handler. You kind of just want to attack the ball handler and 
then then yeah once you kind of double him then he will eventually drive in like you just did oh that well that wasn't him but that was just, either way you know what i'm saying so i'll, I'll show you what we're doing. But yeah, when like Azili and Andrew Boger are on the floor, bro, they don't kind of like cut, and so you're kind of just gonna have to go up to Sean Lemons a little bit and just put almost like double team. And I don't like how they switched and all. But yeah, and then yeah, they'll still go for layups. You're, kinda, you're gonna have to start double it. So I'm gonna have to keep in mind too. Like sometimes you're gonna have to go up to like a Steph Curry or any ball handler, and you're gonna like not double double them, but just get on top of them, and then they'll pass it to um. Make sure it's someone who can't shoot, and they'll pass it to them, bro. But yeah, but I mean, that's gonna do it for this, man. Uh, this one's a lot easier than the Heroes one, so, I mean, you should, this one shouldn't be that bad. And remember, you can always click this and hit the rematch button. It's, it's gonna come in handy, and that's why this challenge is not the damn worst, bro. But yeah, bro, that's gonna, let's go ahead and do it for the evening, and I'll see you on the, and let me know which other one you need, bro. I got you on the next one.